Bill Buford wrote Among the Thugs, considered the definitive book on football violence, and he joins me now. Great to have you with us. Thanks you were able me. to get some incredible access to get among hooligans, English hooligans. What struck you most about this mob mentality? Um, most of the people who were in the mob were in it for fun. Uh, they weren't what you expected them to be. They usually weren't drunk. They usually weren't poor. They usually weren't socially disenfranchised. They were, in fact, robust representatives of uh, the English nation. And they were filled with uh, determination to defend their side, whatever that side was going to be, whether it was their football team or their country. Uh, what do you make of the clashes we've seen between the Russian and English fans? And why are we seeing it just from those two teams? Why don't we see it from other countries? Well, you actually, I think you are seeing it from other countries. You're also seeing it from Poland, the Ukraine, uh, Northern Ireland was in a, in, a, in a bit of trouble as well. Uh, they are, you know, I, my re reading of it is a, <clears throat> a, a couple things. I mean, one is that you know, the, these Euro competitions are the first time that you get young men from all of Europe in one place. And everybody wants to go to France. We want to go to France. You want to go to France. All the football supporters want to go, go to France. All the thugs want to go to France. And so you're having, in a way, you're having something like uh, World War II in a concentrated form at a football match. And the, the other interesting thing is that England, England fans were probably, you know, have a reputation correctly of being the most violent fans are for the first time, possibly in the hi history of this violence, the victims. And it's a very interesting kind of turn of the tables to see the Russians turning on the English. And, and it's certainly quite interesting that uh, one of the Russian un Union officials, before this suspended disqualification was put into place, actually seemed to be encouraging this behavior, saying, well done, lads. Uh, it, it, it is the strangest thing. I was with England supporters when they went abroad, and when they were abroad, they really felt like they were defending the Queen. They, you know, they, here they are, they're drunk, they're, they're belligerent, they're stripped down to their underpants, they're covered in tattoos, and they're bellowing, and they really, they're singing God Save the Queen, and they think the Queen will be grateful. Uh, while while we, you're, uh, you're doing the, 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 the headlines of, 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 the, of, the, of the conflict, it reminded me, I was actually at a European championship in Germany in 1988, and it was a big, big clash between German fans and England fans in Dusseldorf, and they were all playing videos of World War II in effect in their head, and I spoke to one German supporter wanting to befriend him and introduce myself, and he, he realized I was speaking English, and he went, ugh, English, English, ah. um, It's, um, they're... they're for me, it explained um, masculinity, it explained war, it explained nationalism. These are people who would really like to fight a war. <laughs> um, looking ahead, in the next couple of days, Russia will be playing in Lille, England will be playing in Lons. That town has decided to ban alcohol in the entire city. Will that be effective? How much does alcohol fuel the violence? Alcohol fuels uh, provocative behavior. Uh, it doesn't fuel the violence. Most of the violence is actually done in a very clinical way. Uh, it often involves planning, strategies. It involves looking out for the police. Uh, it involves timing. Uh, and it's like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a battle. The, um, the alcohol contributes to provo pr provocative behavior. You get, you get England fans, you know, they, they're, they're all victims this time. And they'll be at a pub and they'll be, they'll be drinking and they'll be bellowing and they'll be singing and they'll be urinating on the street and they'll throw a bottle at somebody and they'll throw another bottle at a policeman and then they'll start making fun of Russia or they're making fun of German and then, then they get attacked and they go, what, 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 what did I do? Um, <laughs> so the, the alcohol is just the, it, it, it fuels the belligerent behavior, but if, if they're going to fight, and often they are going to fight, the alcohol has absolutely nothing to do with it.